thing you think of when I say segregation? Rosa Parks, duh. Move. Move. First of all, rude. Second of all, girl, I will cut you. Security, security. There's no security on the bus. Just let her sit there. That isn't the segregation I'm talking about. Say what? What I'm talking about, Rosa, is Mendel's law segregation. <coughs> oh, here's Gregor now. Hey, everyone. I'm Gregor Mendel. My law of segregation has to do with genetics, the study of heredity, or traits that make you the way you are. The law of segregation states, alleles of genes separate when gametes are formed. This is also known as independent assortment. How exactly did you figure the law of segregation out? Use pea plants and cross-pollination and stuff, right? Well, it's a little bit more than that. First, Mendel chose pea plants for his experiments because they had certain characteristics that were easy to observe and they were easy to breed. He measured the, sheet, the seed shape, seed color, pod color, and pod shape. Each characteristic had two distinct forms, so he could tell when they changed. To actually do the experiment, he cross-pollinated the pea plants by removing the anther from one flower to prevent self-fertilization and dusting pollen from another plant onto the flower. He cross-pollinated two peas that had the same characteristics, same characteristics to ensure true breeding for each trait, which meant they would only have the, they would only have one form of the trait. Next, he cross-pollinated pea plants with different characteristics, like one with green seed pods and one with yellow pea pods. The parental generation, or P generation, are the first two pea plants that were crossed. Then the offspring, the F1, or filial generation, were self-pollinated to produce the F2 generation, or second filial generation. This self-fertilization continued until the traits were established for many generations. Each of the F1 plants showed only one form of the trait, and the other forms seemed to have disappeared. But once the F1 generation was allowed to self-pollinate, the missing trait reappeared in the F2 generation. This experiment is how Mendel came up with his law of segregation. There are four main discoveries. One, an individual has two copies of a gene, one from each parent. Two, there are alternative forms of genes, known as alleles, like different colors for pea pods. Three, when there are different alleles, one can be dominant, which means it's apparent in the organism's appearance. And it can also be recessive, which means it's not present if a dominant allele is present. The opposite, or the possible combinations of alleles, can be shown on a Punnett square. And four, a sperm or egg can only carry one allele for each characteristic. When they unite during fertilization, each gamete contributes one allele. Not to brag, but my pea plant experiment and the discovery of my law of segregation has shaped the way the genetic research has developed. Mendel's law comes with a few more words to describe genetic makeup. Homozygous is used to describe an individual with the same allele trait. So if someone has two alleles for brown eyes. Right, and if they have different alleles for a trait, they're known as heterozygous. So they have one for brown and one for blue eyes. Exactly. All the alleles someone has are called their genotype, and the physical appearance of their trait is called a phenotype. That's a lot of information. Well, let's review. This is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. This is why, this is why, this is why I'm hot. I'm hot because there's no why. You ain't that's what you got. This is why, this is why, this is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot, because my genetics rocks. Ask me where I got them, and I'll tell you from my pops. My mom gave me half too. She didn't get to choose. And now, I'm kind of, now she's kind of mad because I look more like my dad. There is a little law. It doesn't have a flaw. Segregation is its name, and genetics is its game. Gregor Mendel has a flaw because he kind of is the father of genetics. The genes, they come in pairs until they get too scared. That's when they separate. But then they're feeling kind of great. So then they find each other. When they are reunited, they get kind of excited. This happens in meiosis from your head down to your toes. <laughs> These genes are very real, they're aka alleles, they carry different traits, traits and they make you pretty great. These genes, they can decide the color of your eyes. This, this is why, this is why, this is why we're hot.